Hi everyone, it's Caroline. Welcome to the hillside. Thank you for coming along today. I have, I have been tagged by Kirsten over at Penny Rose Journals to uh, hashtag the hashtag tag your, your turn. And um, I am going to do a tag. I have painted some of this old newspaper that I've been working with. And I'm going to do a tag with this today. I haven't really thought too far in advance of what I want to do, but I know I want to do that. And what I was thinking of doing was probably use this one here, and then I want to make it sort of a fluffy, I say fluffy, like a thick one. So what I'll probably do is sandwich this portion of paper in between like that. And then I'll glue down, I'll glue this down to it, and then I'll sew around it. Now this is all wonky and um, not even, but that's fine. Actually, I'm, I was going to cut it, but I might, I might tear. Let's see if I can leave a few scraps. I'm gonna make a huge, a huge, no, a large tag. And what I might do here is just secure this. Oh, actually, no, I have another idea. I just thought of that. I might make a pocket within a tag. <clears throat> now that I've started talking, I feel my throat getting very irritated. And I hope the natural light is fine. We have some snow on the ground. So it's made, it's made it a bit brighter. Okay, so I'm really winging it. I don't know. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I'm going to back up a little bit. I did want to make this for my December journal because we are in December. I'm I'm really getting back into the whole date and time here because for the last week it's been on little ones schedules. So I think this was my first page. I want to make sure this fits. And I think I said I was going to do Page. I'll have to count that out. What I'll do is I'll make it for one side, obviously. Let's see here. That would be good like that. Shabby. Just kind of make, I'm making this up as we go. That did not work out the way I wanted it to. That's all right, I might turn it this way. And even, you know, I thought this was a fun um, challenge because, well, I just came off of making some <laughs> tags for the uh, another challenge in a Facebook group that I belong to. And I thought that was fun. Okay, so I am going to, let me see here. That's, I can make this. I'm going to turn it this way and I'm going to make my tag. You know, it's a little bit off here. Well, there's an angle, but that's okay. I'm going to make 
that. And I could have used my cor my corner the card that I use for the corners. But I might as well just do this. I'll be right back. I'm going to sew this. Okay, I did the sewing around here and some of these pages were sort of staggered so they did not um, get caught in the stitches, which is fine. I'm going to I am going to just glue some of this down here. And up here I, at the top, I also did not, I did not sew or glue anything up here, but I want to use this insert for, to put another tag or a bookmark or something. And I will use my, my little circle punch to give me that. The, uh, to show where the separation is. Let's take a look here and just see how, scrappy card here. I could do something long. Let's do that. That'll fit something in there too. Okay. I have some pieces of birch bark that our grandson he had collected these for me for my journal. That's what he said. He says, Grammy, I found some <laughs> I found some birch bark for your journal. So oh that just that touched my heart. I didn't have a chance to use it while we were there. But I sure put it in my bag. I thought I would use it in my glue book, but I'm going to use it right now. And I will definitely add something else here, but I think I'll just I'll put it on as a start. Just going to glue some stuff, some things down. And that has a funny feeling to it. It's very chalky, just like the paint on here. And then the other thing I'm going to do is this is going to be a tag, a pocket. But because it's a tag, I want to add a whole so we'll do it this way so now I'm wondering if I should do it no this will be the front Well, I'll live with that and see. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave that. And now I have to make, I also have these hearts just from some scrap paper. And I was thinking of doing something punch. I just did a little bit of edging just so that you could see it a little bit better. And I want to just um, connect them with a stitch on, on the machine. 
And then I think what I'll do here is I'll make a, um, a pocket, a tuck spot. Yes, I think that's what I want to do. Kind of keeping this, this tag is going to be the different colors of white, the different white creams. And I also have, I'll share with you if I can find them quickly here. Um, of course I can't because now I'm, well, I just thought of it now. <laughs> But of course, I can't see them. Oh, here they are. I had I had bought these at the at our thrift our local thrift store. I mean, they were five dollars, but then they knocked them down to a dollar each, and they're clear stamps, and they're um, Christmas or winter if you want. And I think I might use some stamps on here. That was a, an amazing find. I was looking for something else and then I saw these in a basket. The other thing I have is this sample textile that I got at the thrift store and it was also, it was 99 cents right here, 99 cents at the Salvation Army. This was in Ottawa. And I might cut one of these little elements here, like a flower and put that on there. It'll just make it very, very warm, warm whites, cool whites. I think I'll do that. I'm going to sew this. I have glued down this, this heart uh, tuck spot. And I've also trimmed off a little bit more of this applique piece of fabric. I'm calling it an applique. And I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac to hopefully glue this down and we'll see what happens here I think I'm at the very end of this bottle that makes me happy when we see when I see all this glue being used and I do want to use something to um, spread it with Yeah, my fingers and my hands right now are pretty rough this time of year. Definitely is not is not nice to to the skin. Let me try and get this. I probably should have done this first, but I didn't know I didn't know how I wanted to put it on, and I just figured that I would do it like this. Glue that down a little bit better. Well, and I was really pleased that this challenge, that I was tagged in this challenge because um, as I had replied to Kirsten, I said, this is fabulous because it gets me going, gives me something to start with uh, for December, for my December journal. I am working in my glue book, which is fun, which is fun. And, and, uh, but this just really gets me, gets the juices flowing again. <laughs> Not sure if I'll keep this little piece of fabric up here. I'm still thinking about that. It's probably going to fray along the edges. Again, I don't mind. I don't mind the different whites. I need to do something about a, something for here and I need to find, I need to make something long for in here. I don't know why I'm making life so difficult for myself here. So 
sometimes using up our scraps and we have to alter something. Well, I am adding some gray. This is shadow gray <laughs> to this <clears throat> to this piece of card folder. Okay, well, I'm going to be putting on the Hmm. Well, I'm not happy with the way the stamps are working and my what I thought my idea might do, but I think what I'll do here is maybe we'll layer this up with some more newspaper. Oh, I better I better do something. <laughs> it's all going to rip. that no it just wasn't uh, wasn't working the way I thought it would like the blue my journaling area here and I can use I can actually put this down this looks nice I think I'll glue that down. I still forget to put my pin inside the... the elastic band here. And, of course, <laughs> I'm going to have to put something on the top for it, too. For it... That's better. That was just too long um, to grab it. <laughs> so I can use that. I don't know what I'm going to use yet. 
And I think what I'll probably end up doing is making, oh, I do have something. I have something right here. <clears throat> this was given to me in Happy Mail and I can put that up here. I think what I'll do is sew it. I'm going to attempt these little snowflakes. <laughs> Hopefully that works. I'm just going to go for it. I like that. And do a little cluster up here. Oops. There. I do like that. And I want to make, oh, on this side, I do want to put something there like that. And I need a little more interest on these hearts. I have just taken some of the embossed paper that I have. I received that in Happy Mail. And I'm just going to put that as a little embellishment on the heart itself. I think I have one more thing that I'd like to do with the tag. And I have this um, printable. Now I printed this off some time ago and I think it's from Robin at Daisy Journal Co. And I'm going to back it on this piece of embossed that I used for the hearts. And I'll do that. Just so that I don't... That, I thought that would be a, a, nice, a nice little tag to put on the, the tuck that I folded over. Do that. And I think that'll be that'll be the end of my my little tag session. My coming home tag session. Let's take a look here. On the edge here. That's pretty. And I just have to punch a hole. Right there. Oh, let's put a string in there. Why not use this moppy? kind of string. I can't believe this time of year has come. <laughs> it, it just sort of happens really fast. I think I'll just fray it a little bit like that. Well, there we are. I think I am, this is finished. I could put something over here. Um, I'm just trying to think of what, if 
I want to put a word or something there. Well, I wanted to put something on this little journaling card. And I think I'm going to put on this element. It's uh, a nice wintry scene, but I'm not going to I'm not going to do the whole thing. I will take this apart. This was in my mom's stash and I'm going to reuse it. I'll keep this as a base for another tag. And I I'm just trying to think how I would like to put this on. Let's see here. I love the birds, love the cardinals. I might keep those. Well, that almost makes it. I might have to add this. I'll leave the... Let's see here. I would also like to go ahead and nominate the next person who is uh, Jill from Jilly Bean Studio. I will make sure that I put her information down below and um, go check her out her channel. She does great collage, just everything's really fun. I mean, everybody here in this community has such awesome, beautiful art and uh, I think it'll be fun to see what, what you come up with, Jill. I really appreciate the nomination too. Thank you very much, Kirsten. And I will list everybody who, I'll list Carrie's, um, who is the, the host of this challenge, Tag Your Turn. And I will also make sure to list the other participants that were mentioned today. This little bird, where can I put him? He might have to be just a little smaller tear. Fun to use this, this older card as a repurposed, recycled element. I think I'll put him down here. And then the back of it can be all journaling. And you see the birds here. Oh, I like that. Well, let's go through it really quick. And so this is the tag that I created today started off with a piece of newspaper and I encased it with, um, or I put more newspaper on the inside, stitched up the edges and left the, uh, the top open so that I could make a journaling tag here and added an eyelet, sewed around this tag that was made from another, another piece of painted on newspaper used a little tab up here that was in some happy mail sewed around that and this is a piece of some kind of curtain sheer curtain and i used this um, embossing was also some happy mail that i covered with a free printable and then i also have this is from um, our grandson he went for a walk and came back and had this for me, for my journal. I can put something in here if I want. This is another piece of the newspaper. And on the back, I created 
some just some white hearts uh, punched out hearts from some a piece of scrap white paper put a little bit of the embossing paper on there I also added this is from a sample that I got at a, at a thrift store just to give some more texture and then this piece of um, cardstock is a coaster that we re that we got at um, one of our hotel rooms when we were away and then this is the greeting card and that's a journaling card so there's a couple of different tuck spots and pocket and there it is thank you very much everyone for coming along sorry about my voice today I really appreciate that you're here and thank you for um, for tagging me Kirsten and again, it's Jill's turn from Jilly Bean Studio. I'll make sure I list everything below. Stay adventurous and stay cozy, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.